Hey guys, what's good? This is the second part of my project based blender course for beginners and it's the best place to start learning blender because I will tell you all the basics with real time examples in the software. In this series of tutorials I'm gonna cover basic subjects like modeling, shading, UV mapping, lighting, rendering and also some rigid body simulations. The whole course is divided into 5 parts and this is the second part where we are going to create materials. But before that I wanna let you know that you can download the project file of this tutorial and all of the other tutorials on my Patreon. Let's get started. We need to go to the shading workspace to create materials in Blender. So I click here and I have this viewport on the top and the shader editor in the bottom where we can change and create our materials. So I select my mesh and I click on this new button to create a new material. These values give us that permission to change our material's appearance. For example, I can increase this metallic value up to 1 to create my material look like metal. And to adjust the roughness of it, I can increase or decrease this roughness value. As much as I increase it, it gets more rough and backwards when I decrease it, it gets shiny. So I enter 0.2 for it because I want a shiny metal material. And finally, I can change the color to an orangish yellow color in order to make my bullet look like gold. It's good enough to be a gold material, but we need to make it more realistic, and the key to realism is imperfection. So firstly, I'm going to add some imperfection to its roughness. But before that, you need to enable the Node Wrangler add-on to follow along with me. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Add-ons, then search for the Node Wrangler and enable it. It has some features in the Node Editor that make it easy to work, you will see. I can add nodes by pressing Shift A here and search for the node I want to add. For example, I want to add a noise texture, so I search for it and I choose it to add one. I can hold Ctrl Shift and click on the Noise Texture node to see a preview of what it does. It's a Node Wrangler add-on feature. By the way, I've created a PDF for every shortcut I'm using in this series of tutorials, and you can find its download link in the description. As you can see, it basically adds green noise to the material, but I can control the color by adding a color ramp node right after the noise texture. So I press Shift A again and I search for color ramp, then I put it here right after the noise texture. I can make them contrasty by dragging these color arrows and I can also change their color by clicking here and choose my color. I can select my noise texture node and I hit Ctrl T. Then these two nodes must appear, aka this is another feature of Node Wrangler add-on. I connect the object to the vector instead of the generated. These nodes are used for mapping and the object output computes the noise texture according to each mesh or object, instead of the UV map for example. Now you just make these color rows of the color ramp very close together to only have the black and white colors. Then I switch my preview to the main node by holding Ctrl Shift and clicking on that. Then I connect the color of the color ramp to the roughness and we can see this weird look. What is this? How can we control the roughness from the color ramp? The answer is easy. Each color has their own value and number. The value of white is 1 and the value of black is 0. If you paid attention, we could change the roughness by changing a number between 0 and 1. And the value of 1 was the roughest. Therefore, our white area in the color ramp is the rough area and backward the black areas are our zero roughness. But the question is how can we control it from the color ramp? I can easily select one of these arrows and click on the color to change it. Then I choose RGB instead of the HSV and now I can select all of the RGB channels by clicking and drag on them. After that I can enter a number which is the roughness value. You can also do the same by changing the V value from the HSV channels. The essential thing you should observe is you must keep the color between white and black. Basically I want to add some noises to the roughness to make my material more realistic. So I enter 0.2 for the black color because it was the number I entered for the roughness at first and it's our background roughness. Then I choose a white color and I enter 0.4 to its RGB channels. Because it's the value of our roughness noises, then it must be more than 0.2 to show its difference. As you can see, this is before and after connecting the color ramp to the roughness. But it's not over and we can play with the noise textures values as well to make it cooler. I decrease the scale to 4, enter 5 for the detail, 
0.7 for the roughness and 1 for the distortion. Now it looks better. I also want to add some noisy bumpiness on the surface and I'm going to do it by adding a Musgrave texture. It works like the noise texture but with some differences. I connect the vector of the mapping node to the vector of the Musgrave texture to set up the object mapping and I add a color ramp right after it to adjust its contrast between black and white. I enter 8 for the scale, 6 for the detail, 0.5 for the dimension, and 3 for the lucky unity. A good way to learn new things is through testing these values to see how each works. I really recommend you to do this to learn basic nodes like the noise texture. Just play with these bunch of numbers and see the differences. To add bumpiness on the surface, I have to use a bump node, so I press Shift A and I add one. Then I should connect the color of the color ramp node to the height of the bump node because the color is black and white and it can't go to the normal. After that I just plug the normal to the normal and I added noisy bumpiness this easy. I can control the strength from here and I enter a really low number for it like 0.03. Now I'm happy with the material but as you might have noticed we skipped something. The top part of the bullet has a different color and we need to apply different material for it. So I go to the material properties and firstly I rename my material to body by double clicking on that. You can name it whatever you want. Then I click on this plus button to add a new material to my object. Then I choose the body material as the new material because I just want to change its color and I need every noise texture etc together with it. After that I just hit on this number icon to make a copy from it and I rename this one to head. I change the color of my new material to a more orangish color and you will see no change. It's normal because we didn't assign our new material to anywhere. So I select my object and I press tab to go to the edit mode. Then I select the top part of my bullet and after that I hit on this assign button to apply my new material for the selected part. Now I can easily apply my chains for the new material. We are done with the shading part guys and this is the final material we've created. Stay tuned for the next part which is gonna be about UV mapping and I will teach you how to UV unwrap your object and place a text on that. Turn on all notifications to get noticed whenever it has been uploaded. And again if you are looking for the final project file check out my patreon. Thanks for watching and goodbye.